welcome to our show, Cholo Cinema. We're your hosts, Lolo Lopez. And Little Hungry. Lil Hungry. Today we're doing a show about all the films that were filmed in New Mexico, which is a lot of films. Notable films such as The Lone Ranger. Yeah, Independence Day. Uh, the Vampire Baby Show, Let Me In. Uh, 310 to Yuma. Uh, Hamlet 2. High School Musical. Book of Eli. That's right. Independence Day 2. Paul. Gold. Gold. That movie with Matthew McConaughey. We thought we would mention all those movies, but we're actually going to talk about the movies that we watched. Yeah. Uh, we watched... The first 15 minutes, a lot of those movies, and then... 15 minutes. But uh, Liliana, Li Lil Hungry, she, uh, you know, she's also a little sleepy. Put a bowl of popcorn in front of her. All she sees is Palos and goes into a buttery sleep. So we miss out a lot of movies when it's movie night over at Mi Michante. Uh, but there's a really good movie that I like to talk about that's not only filmed in New Mexico, but set in New Mexico. That is the key word there because... All these movies that are filmed here, like, not necessarily set here. It's just like, you know, undisclosed location in the desert for a lot of them. You know what I mean? So yeah. the movie I like to talk about is called The Sunshine Cleaners, starring Amy Adams and Emily Blunt. Like, they're not New Mexicans, but, like, they play New Mexicans in the, in the movie. And, like, it's about these two sisters trying to start a business in biohazard cleanup. Which, for those of you that don't know, biohazard is like bodily fluids in like bodies that like are not in great shape, you know? Like so stinky. Like, yeah, like real stinky and stuff, you know? Their dad, Alan Arkin, who like also played a New Mexican in Little Miss Sunshine. So he's like, and he lives here now. So he's kind of like unofficially officially new mexican now and he's like a really good example like if you need an example of a good side hustle watch this show pay attention to alan arkin and like sure he makes some mistakes but learn from those mistakes acumen like that hombre has got business acumen he's a visionary and uh spoiler alert 15 minutes before the movie is over we think that they're gonna lose everything Spoiler alert, but not really spoiler alert, because that's pretty, like, formulamatic, you know? Yeah, that's formulamatic. That's like, uh, you know that every movie, if somebody coughs once, they're going to be dead in 20 minutes. Yeah, like, if you watch episodes of House, you know that if he gives a diagnostic at, like, the 45th minute, it's not the real diagnostic, and it's almost going to kill the patient. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my favorite movie that I'm going to talk about is the Milagro Beanfield Wars. And this movie is really important because it is set in New Mexico, but it has actual New Mexican themes like water wars, gentrification, the sort of commodifying of New Mexican culture. It's important to me because it was the first I ever saw with brown people in it that were not criminals. Like these were people living in villages, like a town that I actually know and love. Uh, and they were they were real people living life with families and love interests, and it wasn't about like um, what what crimes they were going to do next. They were just real peoples. Yeah, like like brown people that weren't like on screen to be like immigrants. But like you could tell Hollywood has an issue because the only time we ever see brown people on screen is if they're drug dealers if they're prostitutes, if they're gardeners and they're maids. And surprise, surprise, the only time screenwriters see brown people is when they're finding drugs, hiring a prostitute, getting somebody to clean their house or getting somebody to tend their garden. Or like, you know, like they want to show that like it's a scary neighborhood because there's Mexicans hanging out under the streetlights. They're like, oh, it's a scary neighborhood. And suddenly they put a yellow jowl over the the camera and it's like oh no that's dangerous the yellow jowl though that's how you there's know it's dangerous be, there's gonna be a scorpion in that <laughs> the scorpion fighting a snake in the middle of the dirt road so the that's what we got for this week 
Happy 50th episode of Cholo Cinema. We did it. So, so next week will be our 50th episode. And we're going to cover all the top movies of the last 50 years. Mm-hmm. No superhero movies, though. Sorry, like Spider-Man. Subscribe. Like and subscribe.